Where's my money or is it gone? That's what dozens of people are asking now that a Catawba County man has been charged with securities fraud. The amounts from some investors we found range from tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars. News Channel 36 reporter Tony Burbeck is live now with our mobile newsroom in Catawba County this evening. Tony? Dave, we did talk to a handful of investors. No, they didn't want to talk on camera. The reason why? Well, they're just way too upset about this. Right now, no, they don't know if they're going to get their money back or not. The state says it's doing everything it can. How does it feel to be broke? That's what one Biltmore Financial Group investor said to another inside this bait and tackle shop, a popular retiree hangout in Conover. They say 44-year-old J.V. Huffman Jr. promised great returns on their investments in mortgages. For years, they say that did happen, and they were happy. The four counts of securities fraud totaling $634,000 has them stunned. Investigators say Huffman Jr. instead used the money on himself. What for allegedly isn't clear. We do know Huffman is building a family compound, that's his name, on the building permit. Investors fear that number is much larger. Authorities aren't ruling out additional charges. Investors say Huffman told them they might lose interest but would never lose their principal. They trusted him. Now that same man inside the bait shop says if these allegations are true, quote, he just conned us out of our money. And investigators confiscated some documents from his house, uh, computers and uh, other things as well. Now, we did find out that there's going to be a meeting tomorrow night at 7 o'clock for all these dozens of people that really don't know what happened to their money. Uh, we also found out that uh, Huffman, well, he served on the county board of adjusters. Well, just a couple of hours ago, the county relieved him of that duty because he was on the county board of adjusters. Right now, he's right there in the county jail. We're live now with the Mobile Newsroom in Catawba County. Tony Burbeck, News Channel 36.